Hello, this is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides and the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. I have a really neat trick to show you how to create an invoice using Google Sheets if you don't have software to create invoices, such as uh, QuickBooks or something like that. Google Sheets actually is a template you can use. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So go to Google Sheets and then uh, look in the template gallery. If you don't see one that says invoice up here, click on template gallery and then make sure that the tab up here is set to general. And by the way, this works on a Mac, it works on Windows, it works on a Chromebook. As long as you can load up Google Sheets in a browser, you can do this. So you can see invoice is actually the first option here. And this is a template. And often what happens actually is if you're doing some freelance work or you're starting up consulting and you'll get a client and says, all right, well, submit an invoice and then I can pay you. And you don't have the software set up or not sure how to do it. Google Sheets is a really good way to start, uh, especially to start small before you scale up the business. So I recommend using this particular tool. One thing you should do is you should make a copy right away. So I'm going to call this test invoice for Acme. Okay. And then maybe I'll say May 9th, uh, 2023. Make a copy. And the reason is because in case you want to uh, make another invoice, you'll, you want to use the original template, not not the not the one that you've just created so so your company here so what you would do is you could say um, all right so the name of this company is in 30 minutes guides all right 123 your street your city so just fill that information in uh, and then invoice and then when the date was submitted so what I would do here is I would type today's date so what did I say the ninth all right Invoice four. So here you would cut, say like um, you know Jill Smith, company name, uh, Acme Inc. Street address, you know one twenty three Maple Street, and then the city, state, zip, etc. Payable to. Here's where you would put the name of your company again. So you could you could either say your name or the name of your company if your company is set up that way. Since many people who are just getting started with this, they may be doing this just kind of like on their side. It's payable directly to them. So you would you would say whatever your name is. So like let's say that my name is uh, you know Jim McGovern. So I'd put that there. Invoice number. So I always recommend when you're getting started with invoicing just to start off sequentially. So this is actually invoice 0001. It's no big deal if you do this, you know, if you say it's 0001. Of course, it looks like you're just starting, but your client probably knows that anyways. And even if even if he or she doesn't know that, um, you know, you provided services so you can give them an invoice. Project name. So maybe you could say, you know, uh, spring spring tune-up okay whatever that might be and then the due date so there's a couple ways to do this you could actually select when it's due the exact date so you could say something like all right well today's the 9th of 9th of may so i'm going to say the the 9th of june the other thing that you can do is you can say you know net 30. all right and that tells them in 30 days and then here's where you would put the put the description. Um, let's say that you have more than three items. What you would do is to do insert one row below, and then here you would do item three, whatever that is, whatever the unit price is, okay? And then it should be able to calculate it. Um, so I can see here. Actually, so it looks like somebody somebody created a little formula up here. So maybe what you could do is actually just copy this copy this particular cell and then paste it down here. Yeah. That's a better way to do it. And then just rename this, okay? Because all the formula is already set up there. And then you can see here it's it's totaling it. So let's say that you change the unit price here. So let's say it's $55. It adjusts everything in $610. And so that then at this point, like if the once the invoice is ready to go, you've you know, you've added enough items there, you have the descriptions. Maybe don't call it item one, item two, item three, just say what it is in a, in a very short way. Then you're ready to submit it. And what you would do to do that, um, while it is possible to share this invoice with the person, what I do recommend doing is to actually print out a copy. So what you would do here is you would, you know, download a PDF and then you would email it to them, or you could actually print it out and then uh, send it to them in the mail, whatever works for you. Anyways, I hope this video helped about how do you customize an invoice uh, in Google Sheets. If it did, please take a moment to like this video and follow me. And then also if you go to in30minutes.com, you can learn more about the series that we have. Uh, besides Google Drive and Docs, there's other books on crowdfunding, etc. This is Ian Lamont, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Thank you so much for watching.